What's good, y'all? It's your boy Rare Kicks, man. This is gonna be a little day in the life video because I gotta talk to y'all, update y'all, let y'all know what's going on. First off, I'm gonna talk about, I'm gonna unbox some shoes in this video. I'm gonna explain my website. I'm gonna explain how to buy shoes from the website. I'm gonna explain uh, just that process and just what I've been up to, you know what I'm saying? couple other things you know what I'm saying I'm gonna throw in there if you want to regarding like twitch and like other social media if you want to you know what I'm saying stay up to date so to get started I got some shoes downstairs that I'm gonna, I'm gonna go grab that box and see what we got probably to take my trash out too cuz I don't like looking at the trash up here in the box downstairs so why would not kill you know what I'm saying two birds with one stone is that the same mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying uh, so look y'all my bad I'm talking away from the camera and shit I just put that shit in my garage. All right. We got a box here too that just came in earlier, so we gonna see what this shit is talking about. What should I should I unbox the shoes first or tell them about the site? Oh, the shoes. Shoes. All right. Let's go ahead and grab that whole box. These hoes. All right. Let's put that shit over here with the size eights. So yeah. I've been uh I've been doing a whole lot of preparation recently because I had to change my avenue. Like I had to just basically the organizers I had to set myself up for success. So I had to up my up my business model a little bit. If you know, if you bought shoes from me before, you know that I sell shoes on Instagram. But unlike some others, which ain't nothing wrong with this, some on Instagram is lit as hell. I know a lot of people just do that as a really good side hustle. So that's cool. Ain't nothing wrong with that. They should. Throw me that murder crime, you motherfucker. But yeah, ain't nothing wrong with that. Let me get a uh, let me get a knife to open this box. Ain't nothing wrong with selling on Instagram. But for me, and people do be asking me this, and the answer is yes. I want to resell for the rest of my life. People ask me all the time, you what do you want what else do you want to do? Nothing. I just want to resell shoes. I'm also gonna do another video later, by the way. I'm gonna do like my favorite sneakers to wear it's right now, my favorite shoes to hoop in. That's random, but I just thought about it since I walked in my room where my shoes is at. But um, so yeah, so yeah, I just wanna resell for the rest of my life. So for me to do that, I keep leveling up. I can't stay, I'm not, I don't wanna sell on Instagram forever. So y'all know if y'all have been watching my videos already, but I might as well tell some of y'all anyways, just so you niggas know the vision. I ain't hiding the vision because I gotta manifest this shit, so I might as well, you know what I'm saying, let y'all know. So, I started with selling on uh, other apps, right? So that was square one. I start, I was selling on uh, Grailed, Goat, Facebook, OfferUp, shit like that, right? You know what I'm saying? Really, I started just selling on OfferUp local. Then I leveled up, started shipping. Sold on, um, it's just, you know what I'm saying? So most of y'all can listen to shit if y'all want to do the same. Cause I know some of y'all are doing on the same boat. So, I was in OfferUp, you know what I'm saying? And, um just doing local meetups and stuff like that making a little bit of bread nothing too crazy being the plug telling asking people what shoes they want i go get them for them you know what i'm saying uh and then i leveled up i started shipping didn't have a car so i had to walk to the post office so i walked to the post office whenever i had an order with the boxes and just carried them all the way over there it was like it was like a little it was a little slight walk if you want to know how long the walk was i think i talked about it in my how to make a living reselling video uh episode one it was just down the street. It was like a, a couple blocks, maybe two, three blocks, make it to the post office. Well, two, three blocks, I had to go to the shopping center. That's besides the point. Started walking shoes to the post office, right? After walking shoes to the post office, started getting a couple sales. I was like, hold up. Maybe I should expand what app I'm on. Cause I was just selling on Goat when I was shipping. When I was just shipping at first, all I did was sell on Goat. So, uh, I could show y'all the shoes I sold on Goat, but I ain't gonna go through all that. I was selling some bricks, all types of shit. But anyways, uh, selling on Goat, started dropping off my shoes at the post office. Then from there, I was like, hold up. If there's other apps, I could post shoes on every single app and then have more chances to sell shoes. So this is when I got on Grail, got down offer up shipping, got down Macari, got down Facebook Marketplace, got down Kixify, got them. Um, eBay, you know what I'm saying? Like all these different apps, you know what I mean? And I would like get like say, see my shit was nothing like how it is now. So say this was probably my whole inventory, right? 
So say this was my whole inventory. I would take pictures of every single shoe and I would put all of them on every single app. You know what I'm saying? So that, that was one of the ways. That's how I started selling shoes at first. You know what I'm saying? That's what I leveled up to. And then I was going kind of dummy. Like I was actually making a couple hundred. So, like, oh, hold up. I'm seeing some hundreds off this shit. I was happy because I was also working two jobs and uh, door dashing. So this was good. Like for, for me to make side money like this, it was good. So I started doing that shit. And then I started going dummy. And I was like, okay, I'm basically averaging a sale a day. So I started averaging a sale a day. Then I quit my jobs. Then I was like, fuck this shit. I'm spending every single second reselling because I realized if I can make a sale a day, I can make at least $30 a day. If I make at least $30 a day, I could go up to 40, 50. If I make 50, I'm making as much as I was making at my jobs. And if I make over 50, I'm making more than my jobs while I'm doing what I actually love doing, which is buying sneakers. So I, I did that and the plan somehow worked. And then I started a uh, I quit my jobs and I was just selling like every morning. I was just meet up, meet up, meet up, staying up all night, sending offers, blah, blah, blah. So then I leveled up from that and um, I was selling every day, no job. So I was basically full time and I bought a car off that shit. A little cheap ass car, nothing too crazy. A little $2,000 Mustang. That shit, it was nice though. All black with the black rims with the drop top. Oh, that shit was hard. I ain't gonna lie. But I do miss that car. I ended up giving my car away. So, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Lila. Hope you enjoying, you know what I'm saying, the whip. But, uh, I gave the whip away, and, um, now, so then I leveled up from, uh, doing that to selling on Instagram, because I started TikToking every meetup, mainly because I saw that TikTok was like, I was basically, because I've been making TikToks for a long ass time, way before this moment, I was making hella TikToks, because I used to watch Gary V, and he used to tell people, like, look, you gotta get on TikTok, you gotta get on LinkedIn, like, these social medias gonna go crazy, you know what I'm saying? So, I um, so then I started, you know, what I'm saying, uh, going on TikTok and making videos. They weren't going crazy at all. They were just trash. But then I realized that I'm not trying hard enough in these videos. Like I'm just posting videos, but I'm passively posting it. I'm posting it like hoping that some little magic, fucking, some genie is gonna like grant a wish and just make that shit go viral. But that's not how that shit go. If you wanna get good at social media, you gotta put work into that shit, just like anything else. It's like trying to get good at push-ups but you only do one push-up a day like i wasn't trying you feel me so then i started trying on social media i started being like let me try to make a good ass video that people fuck with but not once let me try and make a good video people fuck with two times a day every single day so then i did that shit for a good ass time and this is my marketing plan to get my business you know what i'm saying jumping and mission accomplished i have half a million on tiktok now so that shit worked it took a lot of time a lot of work and I had to go places I didn't feel like going to make TikToks. And I had to, you know what I'm saying, do like shit that I didn't really want to do. But I did it anyways, you know what I'm saying, because I knew it was worth it. So then, grinding TikTok, TikTok going dummy. 500k followers on TikTok, 70k on Instagram, 60k on YouTube. Marketing, working well. Nowhere near finished, just starting. But we had, like, that's me just starting. Like, we good now, as in we have a base to work with. Now the sky's the limit. So... Now that I um, got the TikTok, all that shit jumping, you feel me? And I was selling on Instagram for a long time. Instagram was doing good for a couple months. I sold on Instagram, but guess what? Now it's time to level up. I leveled, I, I just explained to y'all. I'm, I'm sorry for going on that rant out of nowhere, but that's kind of how I am as a person. With the cameras not rolling, Jordan, you know I just be, I just be ranting sometimes because that's just, I don't know, but I be having a lot of thoughts in my head and I just be letting them flow freely. So basically, that's the that's the level up process you know what i'm saying and now my next level up is to go to the website because now i want to have website i could tell everybody like oh just go to shit browse you know what i'm saying because now i got like the attention i just got to keep going crazy give people good deals do good business make a website scale the website so now i got a website that's my level i'm on this ain't as quick as the level as the other ones i'm trying to be on this way i'm trying to have a website for a long time so you know what i'm saying until it's time to level up again when it's time to level up again i'll go to the app we gonna have an app eventually. I ain't. I'm. I ain't trying to say that for y'all to think that like it's coming next month. It might not be for another five, six years. It might be ten years till I have an app, which is fine with me. I'm only 21. If I'm 31 with my own app, that's fine. Even if I'm 40 with my own app, I'm fine with that. If it takes 20 years, I'm putting in 20 years of work. But for now, the level I'm trying to go to right now is the website. So the website is finally ready. Rarecakes.com. Bro. Yeah, so just, you know what I'm saying? If any of y'all, if y'all listen to that whole rant, leave a comment, let me know what y'all thought about that. 
Cause I really don't be thinking, y'all. I tell Jordan, like, he know he was just here, just sitting. And I literally was like, all right, bro, just start recording. Day in the life. I don't plan none of this shit. I just be freaking going with the flow, man. Ooh, we got some Jordan ones. So if y'all don't know, these be coming from my uh, buying page at Paid by Rare Kicks. So um. I don't be knowing what these are all the time because me and Jordan both negotiate on here. And a lot of times it'd be deals that he made. This was like a deal he made. This is like, this might be some freaking biohacks money. Yeah, biohacks. Uh -huh, uh -huh. These are deals. That's a biohack Jordan ones. I ain't mad at that. Surprisingly, people have asked me for biohacks before. Like, a little flaw right there, but. A used pair. Hopefully, you pay like a hundred or less for these. I don't know. I didn't check the market, but that's what I'm thinking off the top of my head. All right, what box is this? Oh, I, I, the label looks a little different. It looks like a Shadow Jordan One label, but I don't think these are shadows. Oh, man, I'm fucking. I'm really like that. Even though I didn't think they were shadows. I just, uh, I recognize that label anywhere. Damn, these hoes look nice, though. It's like, they're not, uh, ooh, damn. A little heel drag, but they're not super, uh, like, fresh, but they're clean, though. Like, they look like somebody wore these respectfully, as you should, and then, you know what I'm saying? They just got used over time. But ones, to me, like, these classic ones look better used like this. Alright, let's see how much you pay for these shoes. These are two good shoes, so I hope you get it straight on that. Oh, shit. God damn. How many these would... I know the market these went up a little bit. How much was your both of them? 350. 350? Yeah. Mm. How much you value these biohacks at? Uh, I forgot. I'll figure it. There's someone in the, someone commented in one of the videos like, bro, how does Jordan be doing all this shit? He never knows anything. Uh, hey, you know, well, not appreciate. anything, but that's what he said. But I'm guessing it's like, well, how I took that is like, you never, every time I ask you a question, you be like, oh, I don't know. I don't remember. Uh, maybe, maybe you should run, go on the buy page and see how hard it is to remember every single shoe or even go shoes for him. Nigga, I've done that shit before. Though. I just see you. Oh, you talking about bro? Yeah. <laughs> I'm dead. No cap though. <laughs> I was about to say, I was like, nigga, what? Uh, yeah, bro. They, like, nigga, if you've seen our buying page, bro, there's a lot of shoes in that page. Like, a lot of conversations. Mm. Let me see. Let's go to, I'm gonna go to GOAT real quick, y'all, and see. Um, say, like, Can't spell it, can't. Uh -huh. What about to say? Uh, uh, user box like 225. Yeah, I would have wanted these for like a hundred. Uh, so these will probably be some like low profit shoes, but I'm not mad at it because. It's something to put up on the site, and um, they're shoes that at least people have interest in. 990. I mean, I said 990. 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, yeah. Damn, them shit suck. This is like a good pair. Oh my god, damn. Send an offer. Oh, hold up. Oh. Mm. Oh, they damn look cleaner than these. Oh, no, well, let me check the back of these. That's some creases, but no scrapes on the back of these. Okay. My hug look crusty. Alright, so. I guess I uh, value these probably like 200 
150. Uh, it's not that bad. For these two, that's, that's not that bad. Let me hit bro up real quick. Uh, Instagram hustle pics. Okay, I'm gonna hit bro up and make sure he gets paid for these real quick, and then we'll get into the shit about the website. They said I don't play soccer for us. So let me show him. Look, this is a little ball. You know what I'm saying? This ain't no real soccer ball. If I didn't play soccer, would I have this touch? Would I have this touch? I would have to play soccer to have this touch. You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying. I'd have to play soccer. No one who don't play soccer can do that. All right, so behold, rarekicks.com. I'm out of breath because I just finished got down doing Jordan dirty with the soccer ball. Alright. You know I just caught a clip, bro. You, you didn't. Alright, so look, look, look. Let's start from the beginning. Welcome. All products 100 percent authentic or money back guarantee. Use the search bar to find what's in your size. Example, size eight now. So look, this that's the home page right here. We got I'll tell y'all about the shipping. You know what I'm saying? You can pause that if you really want to read it. It just shows you that everything we really ship this shit out you know what i'm saying and uh um for if you need customer service or any help with your shipping or something you just have a question to ask there's a page for you to contact for that rare ships on instagram so um that's one thing i got my links my social links on here so for all of you guys watching this on youtube y'all already know about the youtube but i also have a TikTok and the instagram and there's the links on there so you can you know what I'm saying take care of all those things if you want to look that look that up a couple uh reviews from people i'll add some more in there but you know what i'm saying a couple reviews uh got a little contact if you scroll all the way to the bottom it'll show how to contact us for shipping or any other customer service and how to dm us to sell you know what i'm saying sell any shoes if you're trying to sell some shoes paid by rare kicks on instagram if you're trying if you need help anything rare ships so look right here you can subscribe with the email address for any keep to stay up to date with any changes or anything like this Anything like that. All right, so we're going to go back up to the top, right? So let's talk about what I know some of you guys who want to support anyways want to see, which is how to buy sneakers. If you want to keep up to date, mind you, this is something I'm going to update all the time. It's not going to be, it's something that like, you could check the site every day and you'll probably see something new in your size because I'm going to be trying to update the, the, the I'm going to try to update the inventory all the time. But to see a big difference, it probably is going to be like weekends is when like, you'll see like a whole new like, amount of shoes you know what i mean because every single day you know what i'm saying it's not, i can only add so much every day so if you want to you know you might as well let those days pile up you know what i'm saying if you bought something maybe wait a week you'll probably see a whole bunch of new stuff in your size so look so here's the search bar right here right at the top search bar right here so you're gonna do click on that just like it says right there say you're a size nine and a half we're just gonna search size see how some sizes are already coming up size 9.5 so now it'll show some options size nine and a half so we got some doran becker tens right here rio tens unc's so if we click on the unc's 295 for unc jordan fours i'm gonna have all the everything will say right here if it's pre-owned or brand new it will say it right here if it comes with og all it'll say it right here if it doesn't come with any og all any box it'll say it it'll say no box it'll say whatever the condition is of the shoe it'll say so look if you're on a computer i think you can do it on your phone too you can zoom in like this look at these pictures you see the purple where it kicks you know how i'm coming you know what i'm saying we got pictures of each size this is a lightly used pair that's why it says pre-owned so you can zoom in to all the pictures this is a this is what i would consider a flaw because it's a little dirty right here i make sure Every single picture, I've taken all these pictures for all of these shoes my damn self, and I have been 100% transparent on every single post. If there's a flaw, you will know about it. If there's not a flaw, you, I mean, there won't be a flaw. But if there's a flaw, you will know. And if I, you know what I'm saying, don't, if, you, if you buy them and you see something that I didn't pull out, uh, what, what did I say, didn't point out, if you see something I didn't point out and you buy them, you can contact me and I would work with you because I'm like I'm a human being with a heart you feel me I'm not just gonna let you guys like you know what I'm saying go out bad I'm not trying to I'm making sure to be very transparent in all these posts so like if you show them right here again too like I zoomed in on the tongue and this isn't even a real flaw 
but it's just a little dirty and I want people to know that it's a little, you know what I'm saying, dirty right here. Even though they still look clean, it's just something I just I just made I just want to make sure it, in this site I'm as transparent as I could possibly be. So yeah, picture here cuz I know people want to know the stars, right? So I had to put the stars in there. Look at these stars, bro. Look at these stars. You know what I'm saying? OG box, right? You feel me? So from here, you would just add the cart and, you know what I'm saying, do what you do. That's how you can buy shoes from there. So we go back to the home page, search, or oh, another thing you can do, if you just want to press show me the steals, it'll show you everything like just all the products and then if you want you could just scroll through completely and just look at all the products if you're not looking for a specific size and then you could sort them this way like you could sort them featured best selling say we go low to high you know what i'm saying you can give you need some some cheaper drip you see i got shoes eighty dollars eighty dollars eighty dollars eighty dollars eighty dollars you know what i'm saying eighty dollars red elevens eighty freaking dollars bro there's some steals on here and like I said, all flaws have been pointed out. So like, look at this. Pre-owned with flaws. Check pictures. Comes with OG box. Feel free to look deeply at these pictures and see like this little, see like this little scuff right here. Like I said, I'm very transparent with all this. Now, on God, this is a steal for $80. I'm looking at this shit now like I could have at least put $120. <sighs> If I didn't show y'all on the video, I might have changed it to 100. I ain't gonna lie, cause that's a steal. I low-key don't know what I was thinking. How much? Damn, 80? I don't know, but shit, I'm gonna leave it there. So whoever, if you see this, somebody probably gonna grab these for 80. So, you know what I'm saying? We'll just see, but damn, that's a steal. Ain't that a steal, bro? Yeah. No, like, that's 80, like, I wouldn't cap to y'all if I didn't think it was a, damn, I got steals on here. Look, 100 for the cool grays. 100 for these stealths, 110 for the last shots, 110 for cherry lows, 100 for VNDS Cyber Mondays, 120 for the volts, bro. 120 for the volts. She size 13. Look, like I said, very transparent, pre owned, no box. That's crazy. 120? Yeah, that's different. I ain't gonna lie. But y'all see though, that's the website, rarekicks.com. This is a big milestone for me because like I said, I'm just trying to level up constantly. I, you know what I'm saying? I showed, I talked talk to her earlier in the video about where I came from starting this in terms of just literally walking to the post office, walking to meetups, that type of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Didn't have no car, no crib, didn't have nothing to really make this shit happen for real. But now it's like really making shit happen. So I'm really happy about the website and even if I only make one sale on Saturday when I go live, I'll literally be happy. I hope it's at least one of the more expensive items because don't give it, it's not all bricks on there. There's some heat on there. There's some dead stock stuff. There's some rare stuff. There's some heat on there. But I am, you know what I'm saying, really happy about the website. So I can't wait to, to start this bit on Saturday. And, and so I'm saying like, it's about me leveling up, y'all. It's not about the money for me. So. I don't have a goal to like try and make a certain amount of money tomorrow or sell a certain amount of shoes. I don't give a damn. But the goal that I'm chasing is the lifestyle of doing what I love and that's what I'm doing with the website. Like literally I just gotta buy shoes, go in my sneaker room and take pictures. Like that's what I want. Fuck the money, you know what I'm saying? Dude got some heat going up now too though. So you see this guy, this is a recent pickup. So that's gonna be on the site. So. Everything like there's gonna be more than what I just showed y'all on the site when y'all uh, when y'all get on there, you know what I'm saying? For anybody that does, but yeah, that's really all I gotta say. I appreciate you guys for watching this video, man. Uh, I'll probably gonna make another video today talking about my uh, some one of some of my favorite shoes in my collection right now. So if that interests you, maybe you'll wanna watch that. And uh, you know what I'm saying? Keep showing love to the channel. But appreciate you guys. You know what I mean? Um, see, we on to bigger, better things now. Finally elevating from an Instagram reseller to like I have a website now I could tell people that like grown people like that aren't on Instagram like look I got a website you could check it out you know what I mean this shit boy. that's all I got for y'all today man I'm signing out out of town never saw her before tell her baby we don't got that long listen it's not my city show